behind is the bad guy, I get behind is wrong. One of the problems that often, ha often happens with this setup is I'll put my foot on, on this hip and I'll bump a little bit and then I kind of have to, it just feels really weird to try to bring that knee across. There just isn't enough space. If you really kept his arm there, he'd be able to keep me from doing it. So what I need to do is really get off onto my left hip. Watch what I do here, guys. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can do this with just kind of a chopping of my legs. Watch. You guys see that? I have to put a foot on the ground. I just chop with my legs. So one way is to just chop, and I can bring this in place. The other way is I can put, when I put this foot on his hip, I can use this to kind of bump and trip back. And then really I have enough space. Even if Brian wants to keep this arm strong, I'm a little guy, I can still chop and beat that. If I'm square with him, I'm not going to be able to do that. This is like my, you know, internal clamper muscles. I really want to be able to bring my weight down onto that thing and beat it. So I've got to be able to make enough space to do that. Back of the neck, back of the tricep. Again, I can either cut with the hips to put this foot on the hip, or I can strip off of this hip. Either way, chopping down, making his hand, I don't want his hands touching my abdomen, my chest, anything anymore. His hand needs to get shoved out of the picture. Shin shove triangle. Shin smash triangle. Now once I'm here, I'm going to use my knee in his neck, and I'm going to kick my leg straight. Here's the motion, okay? Watch the pivot of my hips and the pivot of my shin at the same time. If I do this first and then this second, it's kind of loose and it takes a long time. It's better if the shin is the rudder of my, yes, yeah, I say it all the time, keep the borderline redundant at this point. We're here, again, I bump off, chop, this knee comes up, now as this leg kicks, watch, I swivel my body to follow the shin. Again, so when this leg kicks straight, what happens? My body tracks the shin. Clamp, under the arm. So in order to really beat that arm, I have to really cut to the side. Really cut to the side. And then in order to really get a good angle for my triangle finish, I need my body to track the shin. Watch from this leg. So it's here. When this leg goes straight, my body tracks it until I'm here and I clamp. Two. Under the arm. Some people are going under the leg, that's okay too. Back of the head though, back of the head. We'll grab the shield and get one and get my tap.